Hey, bro, first up. Yes, I'm fine. Am I audible?
Hello, everyone. I have just noticed that uh, Timo sent a message yesterday or today saying that the, meet the meeting is canceled for this week. Thanks, Sergio. So, yeah, yeah, unfortunately, I, I, have, I haven't connected yesterday. Maybe I could take it over, but, but unfortunately, as, as you can see, we are only four people. <laughs> but uh, that's okay. But, see, you next, see you next week then. Unless you, have, you, you, you want to discuss something with me, I, I, oh, I have no problem. Hello, hello. Hello. <laughs> hello. Oh, hi. Uh, I am Pohas actually. I am from Bangladesh actually. Yeah. Uh, hello. Can you hear me? Your mic is a little bit low. Yeah, yeah, for me too. I, I, I cannot hear very well. Uh, can you hear me? A bit better now, yes, maybe. Uh hello. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, so mainly actually how many people join in this meeting every week? Uh, we have four people, right, today? Yeah, because it because I, I guess that uh, most people have have seen the message in, 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 in our Discord channel yeah. that the meeting was canceled for this week. Usually uh, we are about, about uh, 15 to 20, more or less. Uh, we can discuss something, right? If you want, yes. Uh, so um, I am Farhan actually. I am from Bangladesh. Yeah. <clears throat> so I am interested about hyperledger libraries. Uh, so my question is, uh, we are trying to add backup and restore functionalities at <coughs> SSI wallet. I uh, think hyperledger is. So is there uh, any possible? Uh, is it possible uh, to uh, restore a credential from the outside to the wallet? Is it possible? In the case of uh, AFJ, so first of all, uh, we... uh, mainly, mainly, uh, I back, uh, backed up a credential from the wallet, right? Uh, in a database or something else, uh, anywhere. So after backup, I want to restore. Okay. So after, is it possible to restore this uh, credential in the same way? like uh, proof request works, everything works fine, right? Is it possible? We do have a, a, the, in, in the wallet module, we have the export and import functionalities. So what you can do is to, to, to backup, to, to, to make a, a backup, you can, you can call the export that will take an output path and an encryption key. So the, the backup will be encrypted with that key. And then you can, in, after, afterwards, you can do a, a, open a, a, a new instance of AFJ and, and then do a, a, a restore by calling the import method. Uh, this currently works, as far as I know, it works only when we are using SQLite as backend, which is a, the the case of the mobile wallets usually i don't know pleasure are, are, are you are you using that functionality in, in the vcgop wallet or it's not supported yet uh, mm -hmm. so I, am, I am i am trying to actually adding the uh, backup and restore functionalities okay so uh, first of all however uh, i have backed up credentials so I've, uh, in the credential we have a uh, like a json object right okay so I backed up this JSON object, fully JSON objects uh, being stored in a database or something like that. So whenever I restore from this JSON object to the wallet after backup, after restoration, then uh, it's not going to work actually perfectly. Now, whenever I am trying to uh, proof of request <coughs> functionalities after restoration, then it doesn't work. So is it possible or not? I, my question is, is it possible after the restoration the backup function just works or not actually? So I don't know. So I already uh, created issues in the GitHub. Is it possible or not? But uh, there is no answer. 
and I also oh, really? I, I I haven't I haven't I haven't seen but but, but in, in which you you made these uh, issues in in Ares framework JavaScript yeah uh, yeah GitHub? yes, yes. Uh, I cannot see uh, when when did you open the, that, that issue because I I I cannot see that uh, okay I am trying to find it. Uh, Open the Hello, am I audible? Hello? Yes. No? Yes. Uh, excuse me, just uh, one minute, okay? Uh, so, uh, my uh, issues uh, is uh, from the uh, GitHub link. It is Mobile Legend React Native. And okay. my, so my issues number actually 583, right? Credential render error, OCM. You can see that it is already open. Okay. Okay. So I think that, that that's, that's more, more uh, Clashio field <laughs> because, uh, yeah, the, the, the mobile agent is my, is, is a, also called the bifold project. Uh, so that, that, that's why I, I haven't seen I haven't seen it. So I don't. Sorry, can you please link the issue? Uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, can I text it in the Zoom link? Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have sent it. <clears throat> okay. Ah, it's it's been a, a long time since you opened it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's been five months actually, four four and a half. So you're asking a question, what is the, what are you trying to add to the credential array? Yeah. And mainly I have, uh, I have solved this issue actually. Uh, we have changed in the not modules. Uh, I have uh, changed, changed this. Issue. But uh, this is another question. The question is, so I backed up the credential, right? So I have a JSON object uh, who is already showing in this GitHub link. So uh, uh, sorry, sorry. Backup and restore is not something that has been developed yet in Bifold. It's an open issue. Yeah, but I think I think that what uh, what he's what he's, he's saying is what, what we're trying to to do is to extract only a credential from the wallet, back it back it up somewhere yeah exactly and then, then uh, copy it again yeah. in another wallet or whatever yeah but only only the credential record that 
that's what you, you you're trying to, to to do right exactly 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 yeah <clears throat> okay so for so, the moment at at least if we are um, at least in 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 the current uh, release of bifold which is using the which is using which is based on the afj 033 which is using in the sdk as a backend it's not possible to do that because uh what you are seeing there is only let's say the public part of the credential and the other and, and the private part is uh is only it's stored internally by by the India SDK. So uh, at the moment, it's not possible to to, to do that. Oh, however, oh, oh, I see. Oh, I see. Uh, yeah. However, in the in the next release, uh, the, which is based on the zero four zero, that uh, where we are using um, the new components of anon creds, it is technically possible to to extract the whole. Uh, credential and also to because the, the credentials are uh, at least uh, if, if you are talking about the anon creds or in the credentials which is the, 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 the usual case and this is the case that you are you are uh, mentioning in your issue yes. uh, all those credentials are issued by using something that is called the master secret or the link secret which is something that is very internal of each wallet so if you are going to extract or, or back up a, a, a single or a, or a bunch of uh, credentials you will need also to extract the link secret okay uh, so it's not a process i mean it's not a very straightforward process yeah. Uh, but it is but it will be possible uh, as soon as uh, i don't know please you is it is it uh, already merged the, the the pr no not right i mean the the, the, the pr from uh, that is using the shared components no it's not not yet yeah, yeah because because uh, there, so, there were some issues on the on the migration script that the uh, animal team will is, is going is, is uh, fixing uh so in present release there is not possible right <clears throat> exactly. For the moment, it, 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 it's not possible to do that, uh, but uh, probably, probably we can we can get a way of or some guidance to, on how to do it uh, as soon as uh, this uh, project is based on the on the new components and the anon credit components. Okay. So I so, think so uh, the is not is possible going... to restart one credential. But as Ariel pointed out, you can back up and restore the whole wallet. Yeah. What is the, exactly what is the use case for only restoring one credential? Uh, sorry, can you repeat actually? <clears throat> what is the use case for restoring only one credential? Uh, so uh, after actually uh, searching this wallet. Uh, we have found that there is no backup. I, you're, uh, sorry, I you're breaking up. Right? Sorry, uh, you're breaking up. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, suppose I have backed up a credential, right? Uh, I, have a, I have a wallet, I have a phone, and I have uh, a credential, and I already backed up. Uh, so some days later, I lost my phone. So I want to... Uh, Integrate this wallet again in this new phone. So I want to back up from uh, any higher database or something like that. So I want to restore the existing credential to my wallet, right? So half, uh, that's why I want to restore uh, from anywhere else in my new phone so that I can uh, uh, search my existing uh, credential from somewhere else where I already backed up, right? <clears throat> So these actually credentials. So I need this in future, right? So that's why I, I am backed up in anywhere else. Then after I lost my phone, I, I want to uh, uh, restore in another phone. Yeah? So I want to restore it. So however I want to restore it, so I just back it, backing up just JSON object like tags, okay? So okay, connection ID, credential, everything, just JSON that you are showing in the GitHub link. 
so whenever I restored this credential, this is actually showing in the UI, but whenever I try to uh, work as a proof of request, when I try, try to uh, proof request, then uh, it doesn't work because uh, so, I think this is not exact way actually. So are you using the FJ backup and restore methods? No, we have our own way actually. So we are trying to our own way. So what we have in my mind. Uh, okay. I, so. So yeah. I would say try FJ backup and restore and see if that works. I don't know what's your own way, but Ariel pointed out there's a lot of details involved on backing up and restore. So FJ actually added backup and restore functionalities. Uh, I didn't know that actually. Yeah, it, actually it's uh, import and export is, 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 the, yeah. is the name we, we are so, using. But, uh, yeah. but, but, but the, the, the problem is that, is that you cannot you cannot uh, export a single credential for the moment. You 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 have to export the whole wallet, and then in the in the new phone, let's say, you have to import the whole wallet, and you will have not only the credential but also the, the connections and well and so on. Everything else, right? <clears throat> yes, exactly. So uh, as you're saying that uh, recent release, uh, present release, uh, there are uh, import and export functionalities, right? So I can use that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah uh, so, uh, can I link uh, my own database system or anything else uh, in the? So, actually, whenever import ex import export functionalities work, so where they store the credential? Uh, cloud backup or anything else? <clears throat> uh, actually, what what is done in the in the, the export will will simply uh, create a a new file. In, in in the in the, in, the in, in this case it's, it's a mobile phone right uh, in the, in the file system and then you can choose uh, to upload it uh, whatever you uh, you want I mean uh, a typical use case will be to 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 upload it on to, to Google Drive or uh, Apple iCloud or whatever. So this is my own choice, right? Sorry. That is my own choice, right? Yes. Yes. I, yes. I can back up anywhere. Okay. Yes. And after that, I can restore from whole uh, uh, wallet actually, right? Exactly. Yeah. Keep okay. in mind that that the, the every every time you export an, an a, a wallet, you will provide a a, a key. So secret key. The, right? the whole wallet will be exactly the the, the, the whole wallet will be uh, encrypted by using that key. So. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, yeah. Th thank you. That's my question actually. So we have been uh, uh, trying to uh, document responses over the four or five months, and we are interested about hyperledger IDs, and we are trying to do that actually. Uh, no, but 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 this is it, this is it, it, I mean it, it it's interesting the, uh, that uh, it can exist this this case this use case where you only want to to extract a. a a part of the of the wallet, uh, so uh, I mean this this case of the of uh, of exporting a single uh, credential. Of course, it will need in this case it, it will need also that uh, link secret um, because maybe you can you can uh, for instance you can probably want to. I'm thinking on on, on some cases, for instance. Suppose you have different devices. Yeah. So you want you want to to have a, a, a different connections in, in each device, but probably you want to share a, a credential between uh, all of those devices. I don't know. So maybe in in, in those uh, cases you are telling about synchronization, uh, right? Right. So yeah. For instance, I so, I, so I yeah. have. I have a wallet, I have a credential, and I have another wallet who have, have to be same credential, and we have synchronized two wallet each other, right? Yeah, something like that. Um, yeah. Maybe it, it, in, uh, at a certain moment, it could be useful so to that, have that, that, that flexibility. Yes. So that's not possible at the moment, so I still don't understand what is your use case. What are you trying to do? As I said earlier, uh, what I am trying to do, uh, so we have uh, in this wallet, we have added two buttons, right? 
one is backup, one is restore. Okay. So whenever uh, I click the backup, so all my credential are going to back up in somewhere else, wherever we are going to do, about at, at any house where we want to use. Okay. So whenever, suppose my uh, phone or wallet is broken. So in my new phone, uh, I want to uh, restore this uh, credential that I already explored, already backed up in somewhere else. Okay. So that's why I am using a okay, backup. Sorry, restore. sorry, pause. You want to back up and restart the whole wallet or? No, I just, said... just credential. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, whenever I, I just already backed up this credential, but okay, whenever why I need... you want to, why you want to restart just a credential? Cred actually, not just credential, credential and connection. Okay. So I have if I, my proof request works or not, that depends on the connection, right? I have to already explore my connection, right? So mainly I have firstly I have explored my credential, but whenever I thought that uh, the, in just in this case credential doesn't work. We have to uh, store connection, right? After, if we, if we not store connection, then uh, the proof request doesn't work, right? So we have mm -hmm. found that uh, after, if we do not store the connection, then uh, the, the, there is no meaning that we just store credential and we store it, okay? That doesn't mean anything, okay? So we have to store uh, backed up also a connection, right? So that's why I am uh, trying to uh, tell you that uh, how can I uh, restore credential and connection in the same moment at the wallet uh, so that it uh, will it functionality will work at the same as before. <clears throat> okay. So what we're recommending is that you use AFJ export and import that will export and import all the necessary objects to restore the wallet to the same level functionality. At the moment, there's no way for you to pick and choose the objects. You can only back up and restore or import, export everything. Okay, so I have to uh, back up everything that actually owned in the wallet, right? I have to back up everything, right? Yes. Uh, uh, what about, uh, suppose I already uh, imported uh, everything in somewhere else. Uh, in my new phone, I want to export it, right? So I have a new phone. So I want to export it, who is already imported, right? So how can I do that? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Your editor have a new phone and you want to export? Suppose uh, in my phone, I have already imported whole wallet. Uh, I have backed up a whole wallet, okay? okay. Uh, so in future, I have a new phone, okay? So I want to restore the whole wallet in my new phone. How can I do that? Okay, that's what I'm saying. You have old phone, new phone. You need to back up or export your wallet from the old phone and import into the new phone. Okay, so I think that's, uh, that's the way I can do that, right? Great, correct, right now, yes. Okay. The only yeah, option think... available right now is you, you do an import export in one side and import on the other side of the whole wallet contents of the wallet. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I think that that uh, that that is not uh, yet um, uh, binded on on the on the by default project. I mean, on the Iris Mobile Agent React Native, but. It is a feature that is supported on the underlying framework it is using, which is this one in the AFJ. Yeah. Uh, so you will, in your app, you will need to call those methods uh, directly. Because uh, yeah, that, well, that functionality is not available yet in Bifold. So exactly. again, you, you can add it, but I'm just, directing you saying that AFJ only support import, the export import of the whole wallet. Uh, okay, mm -hmm. thank you. That's okay, so if you want to you. implement that, you should, you, you can, but you are working within the constraints uh, of what is provided in AFJ API. Uh, okay, I got it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> thank you. No, no problem. Um, also, the GitHub issue is quite old from from Ares Bifold repository. 
I'm probably going to close it because it's old one. There has uh, yeah, been a lot of, yeah. <laughs> there has been a lot of changes. Yeah. Um, I'll recommend maybe whatever you're doing, try with the new, with the, with the new changes. If, if yeah. it's you, you're yeah. seeing the same error, you can reopen. Yeah. Okay. I am, I think I have to install the uh, present release, right? <clears throat> Sorry. And you in have the to install in one. The, in the present release wallet, there is the import export function, right? No, if you're talking about in the, again, there's errors by fold, there is Aries JavaScript frame, JavaScript framework. So I am talking about Aries by fold. So if I install- is Import is available, is yeah. available in EFJ, but it's not available, it has not been implemented in by fold. Okay, so how, how, how is it going to implement it actually? So there is a it's it, there is an issue for backup and restore, but we have not got into that. So if you want to work on contributing that or creating your own code, you're probably gonna be on your own because we have not touched that part yet. Oh, okay, so I, I got you. Yeah, yeah. so it's yeah, not it's, a feature that has been developed yet okay, okay. from I default the, perspective. Okay. These are the, the issue that Glacio is mentioning. Okay, there is another issue. Backup and restore. Actually, it's a good app mentioned uh, something there. <laughs> I have seen. You, you, you both are, are co workers? Go ahead and good app. Yes, we both work okay, together. Okay, okay. So <laughs> that's right. We need to join this meeting. It's our first meeting, by the way. Okay. Yeah. You're welcome. Uh, yeah, I I'm not in, again. If if you're interested in implementing the backup and restore functionality, uh, you have to work within the within the AFJ limitations or constraints. Um, so you mentioned that you're doing your own way. That got me concerned. I don't know what that means. So you you have to use uh, AFJ. Uh, import export to achieve the backup restore functionality okay we got it firstly uh, as Paulus said that we already have done this we successfully restore uh, our credential you see the single credential but we have all those credentials we successfully restore by doing some changes in the note module as you say the afj note modules okay. but uh, when we work we find out that proof request is not working. That is why we exactly. joined the meeting. Uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it it will not work because in order to use it, uh, the framework will will need to so, access so, that uh, link sorry, secret. Ariel. I, sorry, yeah. sorry, Ariel. So when you say the proof request is not working, uh, means that you have a connection that already existing in the wallet that you have restored. And that connection is trying to issue a proof request. Okay. No, the, we haven't. Uh, we haven't restored the connection yet. Uh, we just uh, back up our credential and restore our credential. When we find out that our proof request is not working, that is the time when we find okay. out that we also restore. Sorry. Sorry. What do you mean by proof request is not working? Period is not working for the restored one. So when this is working, so whenever we restore the credential from the somewhere else, then whenever we are trying to request a proof, then it is not working. Okay. okay, sorry. Again, what do you mean it's not working? Are you getting the proof request at all or you're not even getting the proof request? I, I am getting right. the notification, right? I am uh, okay. So, so, so the issuer or whatever the verifier is able to issue to send a proof request, you receive in your wallet. Yeah. Is yeah. that where you're getting that OCA bundle error? No. Okay. So, can you please explain to me what do you mean by not working? What is what is it that you're getting, and where oh. are you getting st uh, stuck? Uh, so, uh, so every credential you have a connection, right? 
Uh, so mainly I Sorry, have... your mic volume go up and down. It's hard for me to understand you. Can you hear me? Yes. Firstly, we have just backed up credential, right? So whatever, just just credential, not connection or something else. Just credential. We just backed up. So, so okay, okay, okay. Okay. If you want to back up and restart, just credentials not going to work. You need the connection. You yeah. need, you need everything. Yeah. Uh, so if I want to back up credential and uh, its connection as same, okay. So I backed up the credential and the connection is same. Okay. So I need to restore the connection and the credential. So you are saying that is it not going to work because this functionality is not implemented yet, right? So I need to hold backup system, right? Hold import export, hold wallet. I need to export then import to the another phone, right? Correct. You have. Yes, I, you actually, have to... actually, what what you are what you are missing uh, when when doing so is that uh, link secret or master, master secret that I I mentioned, and and that is used when you are going to use that credential for a proof request. So I think that's the reason why it's failing. But, so, but, but I still don't understand yeah. where it's failing. Because again, if there is a connection established, we're talking about a mobile wallet, those route keys need to be registered with the mediator. I don't know where that is stopping. I still, have, I still haven't understood the picture. Uh, so I think in the middle, there is an error, I guess. We are not catching. That's why I think there is an error <clears throat> between us, actually. So we are missing something, right? That's why it is not working. I think. Right. So so there is the, the AFJ export and import. Um, I, I, again, we have not tried that, that function yet because we have not implemented. Uh, but the question for me is when you do that export import, um, we have you successfully reconnect with the same mediator because the mediator needs to be there one for routing the, the messages, which that includes a proof request okay. that needs to be getting to the other side, to, to the end point of your wallet. So this is implemented in AFJ, but this is not in the uh, wallet, right? So Import export it, implemented, right? In, in, again, right? backup and restore is not a trivial issue, is not a trivial problem for mobile devices. There's wow. a lot of moving parts. It's not just like you back up a database, right? There is there is other things. So you need to, to make sure that your mediator knows that there is a new wallet. So technically, if you're backup and restore everything, you should be able to reconnect with the same mediator and then you're gonna have the same routing keys. So that's why I'm saying that we do not support, maybe not yet, maybe in the future we will, individual credential or individual object. You restore everything because otherwise some metadata will be missing. Okay, but but for, for the moment, what, for, for, your, for your use case, what, what you can do is to import, export. do an export and an import, and, and that will work. Uh, the only thing that you, you have to keep in mind is that there is it's not implemented on the Bifold or Aries mobile agent React Native uh, level, but if you, uh, but this, uh, uh, I mean, in the, from React Native, you can access to the agent instance. So you, what you can do is to, uh, get the, the agent dot wallet dot export whatever you, you want and uh, agent dot wallet dot import and, and you you can simply import your wallet and of course you will need to reopen it with the with the key you provided and and, and that's it actually oh, okay i got you <clears throat> okay yeah now this is clear <laughs> thank you So try right. that out and let us know uh, how that goes. Sure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, so is it uh, going to end? 
Uh, Alas, do you have any other question? No, no, I, I, no, I, no, I, I thought we don't have any questions. Thank you. Okay. Okay, is, your, thank you guys. Is, the code, is the code you're working on op also open source? No, no, no. no, no. Okay. It's in our local PC. Okay, no problem. All right then. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you guys. Bye. Thank you. Okay. Well, see you next week. <laughs> <See> you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Bye bye.